Welcome everyone to the last day of the LIFE 2021 Nephrology Congress. My name is Christina Zermühlen and I will guide you through one last day of staggering agenda content. The COVID-19 pandemic brought about many challenges. It taught us new ways of approaching education and daily business. It has pushed the digitization as a result and put an unfortunate stop to last year's LIFE 2020 Nephrology Congress. This year, however, it enabled us to rethink the educational means of knowledge transfer. The Hybrid Life 2021 Nephrology Congress is one of a kind for people from all over the world. Today, we are incredibly honored to welcome Professor Tobias Huber to our live TV session. Mr. Huber is a professor of medicine and chairman at the Center for Internal Medicine of the University Medical Center Hamburg-Eppendorf in Germany. He has authored numerous scientific papers in various journals, such as the New England Journal of Medicine, where he recently demonstrated the presence of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in kidneys of deceased patients. I'd like to hand over to you, Professor Huber, to hear your views on the impact of COVID-19 on renal care. Thank you for your introduction and welcome, everybody. So, it's even hard to remember how life felt before the corona pandemic and crisis. Life has changed personally and privately in all aspects. And corona induced tremendous morbidity, mortality and suffering, particularly for nephrology and, and, and kidney patients. In our session, COVID-19 and nephrology, Annette Bruchfeld and myself will focus on the unprecedented challenges and lessons learned from this pandemic. In fact, nephrology was at the forefront of disciplines fighting against corona. Many of our patient groups were at the highest risk for severe COVID-19 disease. First, our dialysis patient, the dialysis population, due to their comorbidities, uh, registries found mortality rates up to 20% uh, when being infected with SARS-CoV-2. So we needed to organize everything around dialysis, transport, security, equipment of dialysis centers, build up registries together as a nephrology community, and came up with testing strategies and later on with vaccination strategies. And our next big uh, patient group, transplant patients, another group at highest risk for COVID-19. And we needed to consider immunosuppressants and we needed to consider how to induction therapies for uh, 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 high patients at high immunological risk. Some centers even were scaling down their living uh, donation programs. And again, we needed to build up registries and think about vaccination. And of course, all the immunosuppressed patients beyond uh, uh, end-stage renal disease and beyond transplant patients, the patients with cumulonephritis nephritis and vasculitis. Again, here we needed to think and adjust how to protect the people and how to eventually adjust immunosuppressants. And last but not least, all CKD people were, patients were at increased risk. Now, besides these typical nephrology populations, people who were, had, didn't have an, an, an previous kidney disease or suffering from CKD, when being on ICU units, were at particularly high risk also for acute kidney injury. So nephrology was very much involved in intensive care units and taking care of these patients. And it seemed and turned out that the rates of severe AKI are even higher than on other ICU pa uh, patient populations. And then, of course, there was this whole field of vaccination. So first, we needed to make sure that our patient groups are prioritized and that they get early access to vaccinations. But then... Secondly, you know, we all dealt with the questions, how efficient will these vaccinations be for our patient groups? That's why many studies and trials have been initiated and are ongoing to see what are the best vaccination strategies to protect our patients. 
patient groups. So I now gave a little quick overview more on the clinical aspects. Of course, it was also um, academic research in nephrology that was important. So as nephrologists, we found the, the, the multi tropism of this virus, not only affecting the respiratory tract, but being spread throughout organs, in particular the kidney. We also found that this tropism in the kidney is associated with AKI and severe AKI. And then also nephrologists found that their early urinary changes can be detected and that these urinary changes can be used as a predictive tool to predict the outcome of COVID-19. And of course, currently, many groups are looking on the molecular changes that are appearing in the kidneys with COVID-19 disease and understanding these programs will be important to understand long-time outcomes and long COVID-19 disease. So together, this pandemic and this crisis has been a major challenge for nephrology. Nephrology proved to be able to quickly build networks to collaborate and to take these challenges to build up new clinical uh, fields, to protect our patients, to come up with new strategies for vaccination and also academic research programs. So with that, I think we are facing and still confronted with COVID-19. So it's really an ongoing learning process um, and that will keep us busy and that will also prepare us for eventual other pandemics to come. With that, all of you stay healthy. We need uh, all of our kidney experts to keep nephrology going. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Huber. What a week. I truly hope you enjoyed this diverse program and the opportunities to network with peers and experts. Come and visit the Nephrology Campus today. You may want to join our sessions on interconnected renal care. COVID-19 and nephrology or hear about the advantages of home hemodialysis during the pandemic. Furthermore, brilliant lectures on food as medicine are waiting for you. And to top it off, you are warmly invited to join today's keynote lecture, Clinical Trials in Diabetic Kidney Disease from One Size Fits All to One Fit for Everyone. And in the days coming up, we are preparing podcasts for you. All of this can be found in our ongoing Life Nephrology Campus. Dear all, the Life 2021 Nephrology Congress is the beginning of an ever-growing nephrology community that you can proudly consider yourself a member of. And now... Have fun with today's Live 2021 Nephrology Program. Music